Hello everyone, welcome to the other 167 page. Greetings to you all in the name of Jesus Christ. I hope you guys are doing good, safe and well. The topic that we have taken today is all things work for good. So without wasting any more time, let's welcome Pastor Thomas Omen. Hi everyone, welcome to the other 167. Greetings to you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. It's such a pleasure to come into your homes once again with a message from our Lord God. During this current scenario, many of us will be wondering, when will this pandemic come to an end? When will this lockdown be lifted? When will normalcy come back into our lives and even another question may come into our minds where is God for the first three questions many will not have an answer but as far as the last question is concerned where is God the word of God clearly says that he's everywhere he's omnipotent and he's omnipresent he's here He's in control of everything that is happening in this world. And if this is happening, there could be a, a plan and purpose in the mind of our Heavenly Father. And what do we do about it? History says that a hundred years back, there was a terrible plague called the Spanish flu. Millions of people were affected and millions of people died. India was the worst affected nation. 17 million people died of Spanish flu. In comparison, this, is, this pandemic is so much more uh, less dangerous. During that time, even Mahatma Gandhi was affected by Spanish flu, but he survived. Why? Because the Lord God had a plan for him. Similarly, the Lord God has a plan for each one of us. But what are we doing about it? Which way can we contribute to his plans? This is, there are some questions that we need to ask ourselves rather than questioning God. There are three words which are coming to my mind. The first word which is coming to my mind is refinement. This is a time we can refine ourselves. What is refinement? Refinement is just removing all impurities that is in us. So, how do we do that? Spending some quality time with the Word of God and praying to Him. Another way of doing it is by spending time studying the Bible. During these days, you have many ministries having Bible study on Google. You just need to Google and spend time and understand the Word of God. And naturally, you, you, will, you will refine yourselves with the Word of God. And this is another time that you can spend time in family prayer and have a family Bible study. So that will uh, enrich all your family members as well. This is a time also to intercede on behalf of others. Pray for others, those who haven't received salvation. This is the best time that you can pray for them. The next important point, which word which came to my mind is restoration. This is a time you can restore your first love. Do you remember the first time that you had encounter with Jesus Christ? That first love? Do you have that same kind of momentum? Do you have the same kind of love for him now? If not, this is the time to, to rebuild that kind of a love with our Lord Jesus. And this is also a time to have a greater bonding with your family members, with, with your siblings, with your children, and with your dear ones. And this is also a time to restore your trust in Lord Jesus Christ. How do you do that? By declaring the word of God. Psalms 91 verses 2 and 3 says, I will say of my Lord God, He is my refuge and my fortress. O Lord my God, 
in you i put my trust surely you will deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from every perilous pestilence you are declaring when you declare these words you're declaring your confidence in our lord god hallelujah and when and when when you declare it the word of god acts like a wall of fire around you no weapon formed against you shall prosper and when you do these first two things that is refining yourself and restoring a relationship with our lord god and other people what happens is a transformation will happen in your lives you will start to resemble like jesus christ after all you are an ambassador of jesus christ if you believe in him and if you have not yet believed in jesus this is the time for you to believe in jesus he is the only one who can deliver you from sin and from eternal destruction and when you when you get refined and when you restore your relationship with jesus christ you automatically become like jesus christ you will be a blessing to many and you will be a blessing for yourself also during this season allow lord jesus to mold you into a vessel of his choice and may he use you powerfully for his kingdom obey his commands and he will take care of every need of yours and if you have any burdens give it unto him 1 peter chapter 5 the seventh verse says give all your burdens unto lord jesus because he cares for you he genuinely cares for you all that you need to do is give it unto him and he will take care of you my dear friends this is a time when you can get yourself refined refined with the word of god this is again a time when you can restore your relationship with our lord jesus and with your dear ones and other people and when you do this these two things you will automatically start resembling like jesus christ you will be conforming to him and you will be a blessing not only to yourselves but to other people so i believe that you're blessed with this message today have a blessed week ahead hoping to see all of you next friday thank you so much for watching this video i hope that this message has blessed you i just want to say one thing that surrender yourself to god and he will work out everything for your good if you like this video and want to hear more like this video please do like share and subscribe this channel have a great week ahead thank you